a small bowl, we're going to mix the flour and the salt. Let's set this aside. In a saucepan, we're going to pour the water. And we're going to wait for the water to boil. When the water is boiling, we're going to add the butter. The butter is already melted, so now we're going to add our flour. We're going to stir vigorously until it forms a ball. As you can see, it formed a ball. So now we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to let this cool for about a minute. Next we're going to add the eggs one at a time. In a bowl, we're going to add one fourth of the milk, the sugar, the two egg yolks, the salt, and the cornstarch. The vanilla. We're going to mix and set it aside. In a saucepan, we pour the remainder of the milk and we're going to scald it. Make sure you keep on stirring the milk to prevent a buildup of proteins on the surface. Once it starts to bubble, we're going to turn off the heat. We're going to pour the milk slowly. while constantly whisking. After we're done mixing, we're going to pour everything back to the saucepan. And over medium heat, we're going to whisk until the mixture thickens. We're going to let this cool to room temperature. Then we're going to pipe it into our pastry. When the custard filling is cool, we are going to go ahead and pipe them in the pastry, or in my case, I'm just going to use a spoon. Um, I've cut these in half, just like that, and I'm going to take some of the filling, custard filling, put a dollop, and there you go. So here we are, our shoe cream or um, custard filled cream puffs. You can sprinkle powdered sugar on top. Some um, dip it in chocolate ganache also works. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing and for watching. And I will upload more videos soon. So keep on watching. Thank you. Bye.